Mmm hummus, the yummy Middle Eastern treat. Now, I made this in the past, and it's definitely worth trying out, but there are a few caveats. Fresh homemade hummus takes about two days to make, because you gotta soak the beans, then you gotta cook them. Now, you can use pre-cooked canned garbanzo beans, but it's just not as tasty. Well, that and it'll be your biggest middle finger to Arab culture since Operation Iraqi Freedom. So, what should we do to make fresh homemade hummus without resorting to- It's with a pressure cooker. I mean, I already gave it away in the thumbnail. Okay, to begin, grab a pressure cooker. Uh... <laughs> Link in the description. And to our pot, add one cup of dried garbanzo beans, or chickpeas. And cover everything in about eight cups of water. That might seem like overkill, but you gotta remember, these beans are gonna triple in size. Slap on the lid. Set the pressure cooker to two bars of pressure, or high if you're using an Instapot. Bring it to a boil. All right, once it comes up to pressure, reduce the heat down to medium low, and let that cook for 45 minutes. Hummus. 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 All right, and just like that, fully cooked beans in less than an hour. Okay, so put a colander in a big bowl like this, and dump everything in here. Oh, by the way, this is important. Don't throw away the cooking liquid. In fact, let's, uh, I'm just gonna pour it in here. And we need to cool down the beans, so let's just rinse them off in cold water. All right, next, bust out the super duper food processor and add our cooked garbanzo beans. Wait, 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 let's set uh, about, let's set some aside. Add our cooked garbanzo beans to a food processor. Add half a cup of tahini paste. Oh, and uh, before you add it, uh, let's uh, unseparate it. If you let it sit too long, the tahini is going to separate. And just like your loser son who's sleeping on the couch, you gotta give it a good beating in order to make it work. Three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. One third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Marry me, senpai. Now add two to three cloves, or in my case, one big ass clove of garlic. And add half a cup of our cooking liquid. Blend until smooth. Let's give it a nice taste test. A little bit more salt. And just a tad more tahini. All right, pour our hummus into a bowl. Using the back of a spoon, let's make a little well. Now let's garnish with a little sprinkling of paprika. A little bit, a little bit of olive oil. And our garbanzo beans, which we left over. Heat up some pita bread and dig right in. Bonus points if you're able to do it on a gas stove with your bare hands. Oops, I was supposed to make some sort of lame joke, then dig in. It's my first day back, give me a break. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon.
And yeah, I know what my most recent pick on Instagram is. Don't worry, I shampooed my hair nice and good.